what's up people so today we're going to be participating in some test net in the StackNet ecosystem and this video is going to be in two parts because the, the test net is pretty lengthy so we're going to be doing part one today and tomorrow we're going to do part two so just prepare your mind for it as we go into it it promises to be a very very interesting upcoming edge of opportunity it has to do with dexes and also nfts so today we're going to be doing the dexes the swapping and the rest of them and tomorrow we're going to do the nfts let's go So guys, this is StackNet. What is StackNet? StackNet is a permissionless decentralized ZK rollup. ZK simply means zero knowledge. It operates as an L2. L2 here is layer two network over Ethereum, like the ZK Sync, Arbitrum, Optimism, and the rest of them, enabling any DApp to achieve unlimited scale for its computation without compromising Ethereum's composability and security. So Ethereum mainnet is still there doing what it's doing while there are L2 that are building on the Ethereum mainnet. Okay? So these L2 networks are there to ensure that transaction fees are not a challenge. So if you want to know more about StackNet, you can go and read it here, stacknet.io. And they also have their roadmap already. And this is their roadmap. You can check it out later on. So they have a wallet known as Agent Wallet. And how do you get to this wallet? We we'll simply go to Chrome uh, Web Store and you will see the Agent X wallet. I've already added to my Chrome, as you can see here. So you just go ahead and search for this and add it up now when you add it you need to be patient because one you need to enter your password two you need to secure your seed phrase i always tell you not to share your seed phrase with anybody and three after you have done that the wallet is going to deploy and that might take a little time maybe up to one hour so after deploying then your wallet is set for you to use let me show you my wallet. So this is my Agent X wallet. And I already have some testnet tokens. I have some it. I have some tests, which is the test token. So now I'm going to show you how to get some tests. I already have 1,000, but I want to get additional 1,000. So we we'll simply go to this um, place. And here we can get some test tokens. So I'll just add 1,000 and we we'll click on mint and our wallet is here for us to sign in click on sign and that is it we are going to get additional 1000 so this is how you get your test token for the agent wallet i'm going to leave all the links in the description so let's go to the next step while we're waiting for our test token to arrive in our wallet so we we'll go to my swap and we need to connect our wallets click on agent x and connect wallet connected so we have some test tokens so click on tests oh right now we have 2000 remember we had 1000 before and then we requested for additional 1000 so that means our test token has arrived in our wallet so let's check and you can see this we have 2000 right now so this is how you get your tst token so we need to swap some tst to twe so t here means test and w means wrapped and it is ethereum so click on it and we add 500 we swap 500 test token to this and click on swap sign in your wallet now we can also add twe to our wallet if we wish to 
For me, I don't really wish to do that for now. Now, one thing you need to bear in mind is that this agent wallet is pretty slow also. And this is what they are trying to solve when it comes to Ethereum because Ethereum to an extent is slow aside the fact that people pay ridiculous fees in transaction. So I hope that the Agent X team are going to work on this. So now we have successfully swapped our token. You can see that our balance has reduced from 2000 to 1005 and the balance of TWE has also changed. We can also do more swapping. Um, let's swap TST to TUSDC. 500 is also fine, so let's go ahead and swap. You sign in. Now, note that Agent X does not have their own token yet, and there is every possibility that they might have a token. So, anytime they release their own token, you'll be in for a massive airdrop. Successful. Now, you can see our balance has changed also back to 1000 and our TUSDT balance has also changed. So the next thing we need to do is to go to pools and we add some liquidity. So click here and click TST and we look for TWE and do some, let's say 300, click on add liquidity, sign in your wallet, successful. So down here, you will see that we have added our liquidity and this is our position. So we can either withdraw or add more liquidity. And let's do same for TUSDC and click on add liquidity. So we sign in. Liquidity is being added. So we have successfully added liquidity on TUSDC and TST. So guys, let's try um, doing some withdrawal. And I think that would be the final step for my swap. So let's click on withdraw. And yeah, let's withdraw 25% is fine. So we'll click on remove and we sign in. So right here you see, this is where we're gonna receive it. So once this is done, so this is actually taking a whole lot of time. So let's go to the next one, which is JD swap. So here is pretty simple as well. Now remember that we'll need some eats for gas fees as well. First of all, you have to copy your agent X uh, eat wallet, and here you're going to type in you copy this and you go to this for set the wallet address. Or you paste it in and then ensure you're not a robot and click on send request so this is going to process might take a little time so let's go back to gd swap right here we need to mint some test tokens so we'll just click mint jd test tokens and we'll sign transaction is received we're going to receive 1000 test tokens for all the jd test tokens Okay. While we're waiting for our transaction to be successful here, let's go back to my swap and see if our withdrawal was actually successful. So now the transaction history is here. So once we click on it, we're going to see transaction history. So look at our withdrawal, withdrawal liquidity, and it was accepted on L2. And look at the liquidity we added the other time. So I think it was all successful. Yeah. So we'll go back here guys transaction confirmed okay so once we click here all our test tokens has arrived so now we can swap some tokens let's swap 200 of feb 0 to feb 1 so click on swap and confirm swap also sign in your agent wallet transaction submitted and that has been received was still pending right here and now we can add this to our wallet so i want to do that actually um, we click on it then click on continue 
and that is it so it will be added to our agent wallet this is feb1 we can do the same for every one of these tokens so that we can easily see them in our agent wallet so we have added this to our wallet you can see 1000 here we have also gotten our each um, token before we had 0 0.002 and now we have 0 0.004 so transaction is successful and you can see that our feb0 has changed from 1000 to 800 and feb1 is now 1007 let's add some liquidity we click on pool and add liquidity let's do feb0 and feb1 so add liquidity let's say 200 also and click on supply confirm supply and sign in your agent wallet so transaction is successful okay so now we have successfully really added liquidity these are position you can see everything right here so this is how you do it now you can do the same thing for all of these um, tokens we have done my swap and we have done jd swap so guys that is it for this testnet there are other testnet opportunities in this ecosystem so i'm going to try my best to keep releasing them to you as we make progress thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video share it and comment i'm going to see you in my next one we are going to make it bye